Obama administration under fire at a House hearing. The Department of Homeland Security has released thousands of illegal immigrants who have committed crimes on U.S. soil, including some behind more than 200 murders. You have somebody who commits homicide? Yes, we want them deported. That's the law. Then put it in the statute, sir. There's a whole list of categories there that are harm to public safety, including those that commit homicide, that you went ahead and released anyway. And so that, that law is crystal clear. You are making these discretionary uh, choices in releasing these people out into the public, and they're committing more crimes. And I don't understand why you don't deport them. To sit there and say that the proud women and men of law enforcement in ICE are choosing to release criminals is absolutely uh, unforgivable. I am very proud of representing those men and women. Many of them are former police officers, sheriff's department members, and they do not go around trying to put criminals on the streets. House Oversight and Government Reform Committee Chairman who led today's hearing, Congressman Jason Chaffetz, goes on the back. Good evening, sir. Hey, thanks for having me. Okay, so there are some people who are released who are criminals, right? From yes. prison. They're in prison because they're More criminals. More than 86,000 okay. of them over a three year period. Okay, who makes the decision to release them? Because, I mean, and how do they pick and choose? Well, it seems to be random, but everything from homicide to DUIs to assault to sexual battery to, I mean, you name the violent crime they have released them back out in the public rather than either detaining them or even better yet deporting them remember these are, are these are these people who have been arrested for these crimes and have gotten sentences they're here illegally they committed a crime they were convicted of that crime they either served that time or they just released them back out in the public instead of actually saying now that you've served your your sentence your debt to the united states we're going to send you back to the country from which you came. They don't do that. Why don't they do that? It's ridiculous. There's no acceptable answer. They tried to reprogram over $100 million that the Congress had allocated for these deportations. They wanted to give that money back rather than do it. They have a minimum of 34,000 beds for these types of people, yet the, the, the department only wants to house about 30,000. And what they've done is they've released them out into the streets. And more than 200 of those people that were in our detention that had committed a crime, were released back out of the public, and committed homicide. It, it's All right, well, I mean, when somebody obviously makes a decision, okay, we're going to release you, and we're going to release you to the street, we're not going to deport. Who does that? The Department of Homeland Security. Okay, you who look is that? Is that like one person who's got the job, some nameless, faceless bureaucrat in the government who gets to make that decision? You look at Jay Johnson, who's the secretary, then you look at the director of, uh, who's with us today, who's the director of Immigration Customs Enforcement, and they're not doing it. Some of them get deported, but when you release 86,000 people over three years into the public that had already but, committed crimes, but all you have no to do sense. is look at their crimes. I mean, if they're felonies, I mean, they're very. I mean, if you if you've like stolen a pack of gum from the grocery store, that's very different. But if you've if you've been convicted of murder, that's well, different. I mean, more than 12,000 of these were DUIs. And I think that's a fairly It's a very serious, serious crime. I agree with you. But everything from sexual assault to, to robbery to homicide. How many were released in 2015? Well, it's, it, uh, the 86,000, it represents three years, so basically divided by three. I mean, not even one is acceptable. And we heard witnesses today whose family members were killed. And how do you look those people in the eye? I mean, they, they, they should be out of the country. One of the excuses is, well, those countries won't take them back. Just drop them off. Don't give them any more foreign aid and do what the law says, and that is make sure the Secretary of State does not give those countries any more visas so more people can come to this country, get their attention. Mr. Chairman, thank you for joining Thanks, us. Thanks, Greta.